All right, so for day two, or week, three, week two of the class, day three, what we're going to do is uh, a little bit of preliminary planning, and then we're going to get into the main coding of the project. On uh, day one and two was just some sort of quick look at uh, intro to programming, day one especially. Then um, day two, we started to look at jQuery Mobile for creating our interfaces and such. Well, uh, we have enough like of a basic starting point, basic footing to start to think about creating uh, our app. So let's say that we were hired, let's say that we are a, a design studio, we were hired uh, to create an app or various versions or mockups of an app for a client. And the client gives us some general specifications of what they want in their app. And we have to come up with a little bit more of the detail and brainstorm the functionality and such. So we're going to take this sort of like step zero before we start to work on the app to kind of plan the app a little bit. So we can uh, write some notes here. Planning the CBDB app. So remember this is our uh, comic book database app. The comic book database. Hello. Hi, yes. Um, just wanted to ask if someone loses a flash drive or keys. <laughs> the comic book database app. So this is the big idea, planning the CBDB app, the comic book database app. Big idea. Um, an app to save a comic book collection. Uh, so in, in breaking it down in inventory tracking system, isn't it? Uh, it's basically going to track um, some kind of inventory, um, in this case, comic books. So you tell me, if we were going to save a comic book, what sorts of pieces of data associated with the comic might we save? The title of the comic. Cool. Anything else? Characters. Anything else? The date, I think I heard someone say. Anything else? Author of the comic. Sure. Anything else? ISBN, um, perhaps the uh, the number of the comic, what issue number is it, perhaps what publisher. So there's a lot of things that we can save that is data related to the comic. Uh, what about how the comic looks? So maybe photos, images of the comic, anything else sort of that might be useful to save about any kind, don't think about maybe just comic book, but what about any kind of inventory item? Condition? Condition of it, sure. So you see we have lots of things that we could save. Um, this is one of the things then early on in our process. Yeah, we can make an app, we know the code, we can uh, program that all very well, uh, but what kind of data can we save? And is it feasible uh, to save this kind of data and how easily will it work and such? So some of these, not all of them, but most of them, most of these pieces of data we will be saving uh, about the comic. So we can say over here, data about the comic to save. Early on, we're going to decide um, multiple people can save their own collection. Yes. It ran out? Okay. So, uh, multiple people will be able to save their own collection. Um, therefore, we will have uh, user accounts. Whenever users create an account, what sort of information perhaps is asked for when you create an account on a, on, on a social network, for example? Username and password. Anything else? Email. So some, some information, we can figure out more things. Maybe, maybe a, a photo of themselves, let's say. On, on a lot of social networks, uh, obviously you have your own photo or a fun little picture or whatever, so something about the person. Yes? Mm -hmm. 
Yep, uh, we will be uh, yeah saving the saving the password. That'll be information that is important to save as well. So if multiple users can save their own collection, uh, that means we're going to use user accounts. Uh, that means we're going to save username, password, perhaps emails, stuff like that. Uh, in order for multiple users to uh, to be able to use our account, then therefore we need a let's see what's the best way to call it. We need a um, we need a um, we'll just call it simply login system. Therefore, we need a login system. We need a way uh, to switch from one account to another. So Janet is logged in, her collection is there. We want to switch over to John, his collection is there. So a way, so a some sort of login system. Uh, in the login system, uh, I want to be able to switch between uh, different accounts, right? Uh, yeah, this is coming, we're done with it here, so I'll just take it right there. Um, we need a way to switch between user accounts. So user switching, We need a way to go from one user to another. Okay. Well, before that, if we want to switch from a user to a user, if we want to switch from one person to the other, what do we need before being able to switch between users? What's that? The user account, user creation, user account creation. So actually, I'll put this first. We need uh, the ability to create accounts first before we're able to switch between accounts. Okay, so as we start to kind of put these various concepts down on paper, it's going to be an inventory system, what pieces of data are we saving, okay, that's coming along. Uh, we want, uh, the, the client said they want different people to be able to save their own inventory, so okay, we have to then develop uh, the way to create an account, to switch from accounts, and so forth. Um, okay, uh, anything else, like uh, perhaps in a larger kind of way, what might be useful? Think in terms about, um, you know, you've got, your, you've got your device. This is an app that's going to run on, on a tablet or a phone or whatever. Uh, what might we use capabilities, what capabilities might we use about a device that could work in our app? Motion. It, motion detection. So uh, motion detection, perhaps in, in what way? Slide scale. Slide size and scale of you know, the height of the, the, the but the height of what? The image. Uh, no, let's move away from like the actual part over here. Let's think in terms about if we've got a device to use well, the features of the device here on motion detection. Perhaps what a, whoever said that notification. notifications. Sure. Well, that would be for the image. We've already said we're going to use a, um, images up here. Um, so the, if the device has motion detection, what's that? Starting. Say that one. Starting. Starting the app. Yes. Uh, well, sound. sound. Okay. Let's let's pause here for a moment. So uh, motion detection, notifications. These are the different features that uh, that the device can can use. Uh, I'm thinking uh, perhaps what about also in terms of GPS. Uh, so GPS purpose, let's say, uh, to find a local comic shop. So think about it in these terms to answer the question. The device has various features that it can do, like GPS. Well, why would we use that feature? Notifications is good. We can use the notification to keep up to date with what? Keep up to date with a new issue, maybe? Yes. So uh, to trigger some action, uh, maybe you know when we shake it, it will detect who else is in my vicinity that uh, also has this app that I can chat with them or something. So the point of this is just to think about the um, the features of a real world device, how we can use it to our app. So we can. This will maybe a little bit more to think about. We've got a lot of pieces here that we're putting together about what our app uh, could possibly be, what it can possibly do. 
if you think about something like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or any of the apps you use, that might be something to think, can I do that or is it relevant in my app as well? Because what we're going to do is, um, as I said, we're all going to go toward creating the CBDB app. You're all going to be able to customize it in a variety of ways. On the side, you could be working on your own app, your own app that's going to get you rich. But here, uh, we're going to work together to create this as we're, we're saying that our, uh, the Team 209 got hired uh, to make this app for a client. So lots of ideas here about what it can do. What's that? Uh, recognition functions like character recognition or something like Sure. Okay, so um, let's say we've got various ideas here, uh, kind of a general plan. We don't have to have every single aspect of what the app is early on, but the more we kind of have it written out, it'll help guide us. Another part that will help guide us is another useful pre-production aspect is wireframing or storyboarding. So this is basic drawings that map out the app. When you look at an app that you use on a regular basis, Facebook, your bank's app, whatever, WhatsApp, whatever. When you use it, you often do a, a set of actions, perhaps on a regular basis. I always log in, check what the latest news is, give a reply. Or I launch the app, I see what someone wrote to me, I click the reply button, I attach a photo, I click send. I do a variety of actions over and over. There's some actions that might not I might not do as often, like I'm going to create a group and join the group and we'll all chat. Once we're all there, we're, we're there. But there was, those were actions that I had to do to create the group, let's say. So pre-production early on is to perhaps figure out a little bit about what are the big ac actions, the big activities um, of our own app. And the way I'll do this, uh, we can have it done obviously on, on plain old paper, just drawing boxes, connecting boxes and such. I'm going to do it really fancy uh, by opening up um, a drawing program here. That's way too fancy. InDesign's way too fancy. I'm going to go with paint simply here. And I'm going to just draw some simple boxes and stuff in paint. I'm going to save this as our wireframe. I'll put this into the network folder as well um, a little later. Wireframe. This gives me a chance to show off our $2,000 pen tablet thing right here. So um, I can grab a color, I can grab some shapes, draw some shapes and stuff. Um, the idea here is what I'm going to do is have um, just very basic idea of um, here's the, the CBDB app. CBDB. Um, we're going to have like the very first screen, some sort of like um, some sort of image. This is going to be our uh, splash screen. This is like a, a welcome screen. When you use an app a lot of times, the first thing that you see is some sort of a uh, graphic or a logo or animation or something about the app that you see first as a little preview. You're launching the Facebook app. You're, you're launching your bank's app. You're launching CBDB. So some sort of splash screen that you would see first, which would then take you to a screen where you would often make two choices. If you are uh, using the app for the very first time versus coming back to the app. What, what am I getting at? Perhaps what do you see here after the splash screen? Register, log in, sign up, welcome back sort of thing. So let's say we've got two buttons. Uh, this is, um, you know, welcome. 
screen where you have um, register button, log in button, or log in um, um, input boxes and such. So that would mean uh, I would have a path that takes me to one action and a path that takes me to another action. I have then a screen over here, my register screen. What might happen in a, in a register screen? It might ask you for a variety of things like your name, email, password, etc. What's that? Prove you're not a robot. Prove you're not a robot, yes. The verification button and all of that. So we have some sort of registration screen. You fill in information about yourself creating an account. This is the account creation screen. OK, well, after you um, create the account, well, you go over here perhaps to the welcome screen. You would get to the welcome screen also. Or actually, sorry, let me back that up. Not welcome to the home screen. Home. The home screen of the app. That would be also, you could get to that here. I have an account. The splash screen loads up. I'm here. I sign in or sign up. I sign up. I go that way. I get to home. I've already got an account. So uh, I'll lo load the app. I, I log in with my username and such. I, I go to the, to the home screen. Uh, we'll have it, of course, set up that it, if you have logged in, it will remember you, and it'll automatically log you in. You won't have to put your password again. Uh, we're just kind of breaking it down in the big steps here from the home screen. Um, I'm going to make um, I'm just going to make the home screen big. Like this is the same thing here. I'm just growing it so I can show. Like we might have some nav buttons at the top. You know, we have the name of the app. We have the footer down here, maybe um, update information, or just simply to put something, the copyright. We've got some buttons here, like a button to go home. It's supposed to be a house. Home, home button. OK, we get into then the main part of the app, where we, make the, where we do those actions that I had said on the other document over here that we want to save a comic, etc. OK, well, that means um, I could have here a button to save a comic. This screen might have, you know, pictures, and then we've got, you know, Spider-Man right here, and uh, text, whatever. We've got this home screen. We've got some graphics. We've got to have a way to save our inventory, save our comics, so we can have a button to save the comics. If I save a comic, if I save to the database, once I save to the database, perhaps what do I need to do with that data? I save the data and then I want to look at the data. I want to retrieve the data. So I want to view the data, view the database. I can sort the data that I have in there, pull up certain publishers or characters or whatever. So basically, save something to the database, retrieve something from the database, um, those sorts of actions. And uh, I've logged in as Janet, so maybe I want to switch to another user. Um, we can do the icon here. That's supposed to be the exit icon. I'm going to exit out the door, which will then take me back to that log in, log out for someone else. These main other screens, we can further refine what they would look like in this document or another document. But just as a general idea, here is our very basic wireframe, which tells us, OK, we need to develop some graphics or animation or sound or something. 
for the splash screen. We need to program it so that after that displays, we move over here. We have the option login, sign up. We need to program a login, logout system. We need to program a way to save a user and their password and all of that. Retrieve their password, etc. We need to program a way to then log in to take us to the main part of the app. We need to program, create a database, save data, retrieve data, edit data, delete data. All of that stuff that when you use an app, it's obvious, it's behind the scenes, I press a button, it does it. We now will need to be in charge of all of that. Uh, create the database, save the data, retrieve the data, delete the data, update the data, all of that stuff. That's why it's important to have this step zero early on. We can get into the code right away, uh, but we want to um, sort of plan a little bit um, early on. Does that make sense? Any, any questions so far? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, this is a storyboard, basically. It is, the word is wireframe. Technically, each of those is a slightly different thing. What this one is, is the wireframe. Storyboard is more like uh, if I had more for a kind of a movie in terms that I would have boxes that says, you know, this is what you would see first, here's what you would see next. This one's a bit more that it's defined in like a sequence telling a story. That's what a storyboard is. Ours is more of a wireframe in terms of here's this connected to that, connected to this to kind of show you uh, the whole idea. So. That's our wireframe. We'll say CBDB wireframe. I'm going to put this into the network folder a little bit later. It's still incomplete. We could still go on with it and define it even more. We could do some mock-ups in terms of when we get to the interface of things, I want there to be four buttons at the top and then a little button down here on a side panel. We haven't talked about any of that. We haven't talked about design and such like that. Um, so that's another aspect of, of this as well. We could um, work on that also early on. It's sort of like, uh, in a sense, uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg, the design of it or the programming of it. Sort of either or that we kind of work on is valid. Do I want to focus on the graphics of it? Then I need to figure out how to program it. Or do we work, it, work first on the programming aspect of it? Then that guides us how, we will, how the look of it will happen. Either or is a legitimate way to do it. And I think a lot of us, perhaps taking this class, we already lean toward more of the logic aspect of things, the programming aspect, the technical aspect. Perhaps then we are not as strong in the graphics and, and, and such. Well, as I said early on in the class, we will need to be adept enough in both of those things. We will need to be good enough in the programming aspect as well as in the graphics aspect if you are the one working on the app from beginning to end. You'll need to program it and make sure it works, but you'll also need to design the graphics and write the text for it and all of that. So just uh, think in terms that eventually we'll also be, we'll also be working a little bit in Photoshop. We'll also be uh, creating some, uh, some text to promote our app and such. It's not just going to be in the code all the time. It's going to be that sort of multimedia aspect as well. A little bit of everything. OK. Any other questions at this point? Yes? The images, the animation, will be saved in Dex in our desktop. And last time you talked you talked about inserting by viewing the code. Is that a code to view when the picture is in the desktop? Um that's not quite the question to be asking. The question is uh, are we putting all of our content together in a folder? Yes. We're going to have all of the pictures all of the animation, all of the sound, all everything in a folder, not on the desktop. We need to definitely start to save our work on a flash drive. Uh, you don't want to rely on saving your work on, on the desktop. You want to take it with you on a flash drive. And all of what our project will be will be saved in a folder on our USB drive that we can bring back and forth to the yeah, class. But the last time you touched from website, there was view source, there was the HTML code, mm -hmm. and we copied 
we use uh, the src repo, that HTML. Mm -hmm. When the file is in the um, this cache here, mm -hmm. is there a source, is there a view code there too? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we, d we did do that when we displayed an image. Remember, we displayed an image of the cat on day one? Well, that was an image that had SRC equals to an image. So yeah, we will continue to use images in that same sort of way, writing the code to add the images to the project. I think she's asking if the link goes through. The link to yeah, the... Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be working because it's, because it's online. View source is something else. When you're, on, when you're looking at a website, and you do view source, yeah, you can view the source of any website. That seems to sound different yeah, than what we've... I was able to link view source from another image. I, I could do that. But when I had a picture in my computer, I could not do insert that picture because I didn't know how to. Because it wasn't posted. The question asking is that I took the time to pull an image off that you have saved mm -hmm. on your computer. Those are the things that we will be talking about, yes. Uh, we, when I showed the example of the image last time that we got it off of a website, well, that was that example. Of course, we'll be covering then in the class uh, how to set it up so that I view, uh, how I display my own picture. Yeah, we'll be covering that. OK, so um, this is uh, going to be our general idea of what's going to guide us early on. So one of the first things we're going to do then is start to set up our project folder where we are going to store all of the pieces of the project and uh, remember to make the interface and such we're going to use jQuery mobile. So we're going to set ourselves up in a, in a um, in a folder, we're going to set up all of our supporting files, we're going to set up our development environment and the first task is we're going to start to create the uh, the login logout system, this whole system for user accounts and such.